Oh man, so got a Cars and Coffee today. Actually, it's Detail Garage, Rides and Coffee. Um, always, definitely, I say this every time, but it is. It's it's one of my favorite shows to look forward to every month. It's fun, it's kind of just low key. It's not as hectic as some of the other uh, Cars and Coffee here in the area, but uh, nevertheless, it's always a good one to go to. So, got the HPP Mustang all shined up and ready to roll. Yeah, a little brisk out this morning, 63 degrees. Talk about that boost weather, huh? Oh man, anyway, so yeah, rides and coffee. So we know there are gonna be cars there, but we have to get something else to complete the experience. Coffee. Can't have cars and coffee unless you have coffee, and I need coffee because coffee. Coffee, check. Well, now that we got our coffee, pretty much ready to roll so we're gonna go head over to detail garage now and um, get ourselves a spot and just uh, you know start enjoying the morning <laughs> Walking around finally, I've spent quite a bit of time in the store as I had to stack up on some stuff, and there's a lot of people here, so I had to wait a little bit. But uh, fortunately, because there's a lot of car shows today, not many people showed up. It's already people are already leaving. I guess they're heading out to other shows, but um, you know we'll still take a peek at what's here. I mean, there's a couple cool cars left over, so some really nice Mustangs are hanging around. So this is a Grand Sport vet. Yes, a few Volkswagen. See, it's like few and far between. Everything's kind of so condensed up this way. Oh, well, for yes, the ST. So we got a bunch of S550s here, here. The nicest one here. Buddy's Mark 8. And I guess what we're going to do is we're going to cross the street here. More of the exciting stuff is over on the other side here. Got this really nice cornet. And this thing is. I really do have a thing for these old Mopars. Yeah, I'm like. Right there. got a distinct sound, too. He's got a weird Track hawk. Pretty sweet. I use that as Freaking nice as him. Oh man, it really is a six speed. Oh, a whole manual conversion on it. Big old fur truck. Little Camaro. It's clean. Lots of chrome. Shiny. It's Roush. It's another Grand Cherokee. I think it's just an SRT. Yep. No track off. Still nice though. Much rather have track off. Nice Chevelle. I don't know, I've always been partial to this style Chevelle than like the, you know, fastback style, later 67 and up. I mean, they're nice too, but I've always liked this body style. Another nice Charger. 392. So you've got a couple other Chargers over here, really cool. I think I've gotten a video of this car before, it's a classic Ferrari. Oh, it's straight out of Miami Vice, look at that. Actually, a really nice turbo coupe. 
still would love to do one of those. 2 3 turbo build. Really pretty antimatter blue GT500 track package. It's got all the carbon fiber bits. Oh my god. Wheels are really pretty. Nice box. Uh, and there's another GT. Actually, I think there's a couple other GT500s hiding over here. Uh, maybe not. There's another one here. Looks really nice in the white and black. It's just on this car because of the just the way it is with the black gloss black accents. It just looks looks nice. Another charger. Lots of chargers. Celine New Edge. It's okay. It's okay. Well, they made it all with that. Stuff, I was like, oh, and of course, my next Mustang. <laughs> God, I just love GT350. See, let's run over here real quick. There's a few more cars that I can get. Oh, there is another EcoBoost Mustang here. It's the only other one here. Wow. I don't feel special now. Let's take a look at this Fiesta ST. I don't know why I always, I've always wanted one of these. I've mentioned this a time or two before, but when I was shopping around, I was actually looking between one of these and the SHO. I chose the SHO because I could get it for around the same price. It was definitely a much more capable car in terms of raw performance, and it was a lot bigger and more practical. So that's what I went with. And I could not really find a decent Fiesta ST. Yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. Um, this month, uh, you know, because there's a lot of car shows today, there weren't many people that showed up, unfortunately. But, still some cool cars here. Um, you know, a lot of cars I normally see, but a couple I haven't seen, so that's always good. Anyway, it's always a good time. Got to stock up on some detailing products. I desperately need it. Keep the EB Mustang looking fresh. Everyone all cleared out. Thought he'd Troy with his Mark 8, but all the other Mustangs are on the left wing. Almost got scared. I just play and I just play. Oh, but anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up here for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone, you know, if you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Keep a look out for next true car enthusiast video.